What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Sporgo, and the update has arrived, and I just wanted to give you guys my initial thoughts about both Captain America and Punisher, and throw out a gripe about the brilliant or mighty CTP of Rage, because I still don't think that damn thing's working at all in World Boss Legend, as I'll show you guys in a little bit. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about these two characters. I'm just going to give you guys, you know, what I think about them so far after playing them with them in the new uniforms. Now, both of these uniforms look really, really awesome. I like the old uh nostalgia look we got going on here with captain america i like punisher with the new insignia i think he looks freaking awesome he looks like a badass right which is what he should look like however both of these characters the thing that i'm seeing that they both seem to have in common is that their damage is really okay now obviously captain america when he goes to tier four he's gonna get the love lady ah it's gonna be a different story and guys and honestly with the tier four that he has available that can actually give him an increased attack by you know this actually can go up to 100 percent is really really insane for damage that's actually really really nutty so it could make him very very strong however the thing i've noticed about captain america as far as playing with him is that in his skills like you can't really cancel his skills too much his four and his five definitely do the most damage and you know the third skill does give him that nice accumulation right and you do have the counter which is really really sweet right the counter is nice okay and we turn the ai on here right we'll hit that third skill right and this is where the pvp thing might come in really really handy right i mean having that counter is really nice it's not that on that long of a cooldown so that might be really good for pvp and that might have to be tested but more than likely he's probably gonna have to be tier four to really shine however i could be wrong right i haven't tested it i don't really know but then you have the two and the three the one which isn't really no big deal the one's kind of nice with throwing the shield around but the four you know he does that little explosion then iron man comes in that's really awesome like the the, the skill looks awesome however guys even if you let iron man come out right and then you cancel into another skill, you lose all the damage. You have to let the four play completely out. And it's a nice partial iframe. It starts off as an iframe and then goes into where he's just standing in front of the target. And the fifth skill is kind of the same thing. You can't cancel this skill. See that big shield explosion at the end, right? Right, there's a lot of damage there. We will let the explosion happen there. Oh, well, maybe you can cancel it. Okay, you can cancel it a little bit early. All right. Let's see if we can cancel a little bit earlier than that. No, 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 no. We got to let it play out. There's that explosion. Yeah, you have to wait for the explosion on the fist kill before you cancel it. Now, now the tier three is freaking awesome because one, we don't have to charge it up. We get the automatic accumulation, which is awesome. That's a big change with Captain America that I really like. It makes them a lot easier to play. And the tier three is badass. Like this thing is a solid iframe and it's nice and long and it just goes all over the place right you don't have to worry about taking damage during it you don't have to worry about accumulating damage that is awesome so i mean i really do wonder how strong he's going to be at tier four but you know I'll, I'll give you guys initial you know thoughts of him here in a little bit now you know as far as my build you know i do have a fully awakened power bending rock set he does have some urus on him he doesn't have an artifact and he doesn't have an obelisk, right? We just got a normal rank uniform, right? This isn't exactly a review. And then we have Punisher. Now, Punisher doesn't have any Urus on him, guys. He just got a regular stage five overdrive set, no artifact, and no obelisk as well with a normal rank uniform. And with Punisher, guys, they, like, his tier three is pretty pretty sweet. I mean, it actually hits pretty hard. It's got a nice damage rock by 100%, which is really good. The increased all attack by 60% is really nice. It lasts for nine seconds and you can't cancel his fourth skill you can actually get his accumulation from his third so i mean it looks like i mean you're going to want to throw in the two and the one but it looks like you can just go three four and then he'll slam down and then you can go into the five and i gotta say guys like this looks insane the fourth skill bam i mean that is nice oh my god and i'm not really sure which does more damage as far as the five and the four but if you let the four slam down and then go into the fist skill afterwards it looks like that's where you're going to get the most damage however the fist skill gives him the invincibility with the super armor so whenever you're doing the four you can get knocked back every once in a while while he's in this little stance i do wish it would just kind of cancel just jump forward and then you know slam down then go straight into the fist skill but you know it's a small little complaint and then it's tier three, right? The tier three, you can't, I don't think you can cancel this thing at all, guys. I tried it earlier 
and it doesn't seem like you can cancel it. And honestly, if you do cancel it, you'll lose that 100% damage proc on it. But I mean, this does need to be further tested, okay? So let me just show you guys, you know, what these characters can do right now, just really, really quickly in World Boss, right? You know, and this is just really a PvE discussion here. And we're just going to go against stage 19, which is not very high at all on this account that has 22% pierce and over 100% physical attack. Okay, that's a lot. All right, that's a pretty good amount. Okay, and we'll slap in Punisher here first, right? We're going to use Titanius Leadership with 60 increase of all attack. We got a CTP of Insight on Taskmaster plus the extra damage from Taskmaster, right? And then we'll just throw in a little something here. Let's go ahead. We got one ignore target dodge rate striker. We already have 40% ignore dodge from Punisher. So we can throw in another ignore dodge striker here. And that's going to give us a total of 80% ignore dodge, right? Which should be more than enough, right? And I'm going to try to, you know, use my tier three as often as I can, right? And try to make sure that I do get the attack buffs from the skills. But since we don't have an obelisk on him, we're just going to be kind of running through the skills just to show you guys the damage of what he actually can do here. All right. And we're just going to do that 2-1. I'm just trying to get that tier 3 uh, off a little bit here. Okay, here we go. And then we hit that tier 3. And his tier 3 seems to hit fairly hard. But, I mean, again, this is just stage, you know, 19, right? This is just stage 19. So it's not like we're way up there in our stages here. Okay, hit that tier three again. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, well, yeah, but you don't have an obelisk on. Yeah, but I mean, on an account like this, without an obelisk, I mean, really, I, I honestly would expect a little bit more from the character, right? Now, there are four skill I actually got interrupted, which does kind of suck. That is something I've already noticed about him, is that his four skill can get interrupted. It is nice, though. He's got that 30% heal. That is very, very good for him and it is instantaneous so that's actually really nice at tier three but i honestly guys would really uh expect a little bit more damage there are fifth skill or i'm sorry our fourth skill actually got interrupted and that's kind of the bad thing about that uh fourth skill that i'm already noticing is that you know he just kind of stands there for a little bit and he can get interrupted, which is meh. And in PvP, I really do wonder how good that's going to be. Now, there we got interrupted again on our fourth skill, which kind of sucks. Okay. All right. And honestly, guys, you know, being stage 19, he does take a lot of damage, right? I mean, even with the decreased damage received, I'm noticing he's taking quite a bit of damage. So I do wonder how good his survivability is going to be. They did increase his leadership, but... Right now, like from what I'm seeing as far as these damage numbers, I mean, I know he doesn't have a very good build, but I really would expect more. But maybe I need to build him up a little bit more. But right now, as far as what I can tell, maybe more PvP, but I don't know how strong he's going to be for PvP because you need some damn strong characters in order to get it done. I should have hit try again there. I kind of screwed up there. So let me throw in Captain America here and show you guys what Captain America does. All right, so we'll switch him out and we'll put in good old Cap. And I'll show you guys what old Cap does here. There we go. Okay, now we have 40% ignore dodge. I mean, I mean, Cap's got 100% ignore dodge for seven seconds on his tier three. But I almost think it'd be better to have another ignore dodge uh, striker here. I mean, you know, I mean, in all honesty, we could uh, actually just put White Fox. I mean, he does have the leadership tag. So, I mean, we could just use White Fox. So let's try that, right? That's going to give us enough ignore dodge. We'll be just fine, right? And again, you know, we'll, we'll see how this goes. But I'm going to have to try to... I, I mean, I just started playing with these characters, so I'm really just trying to get a feel for them. But I'm going to try to get Captain America's Tier 3 off. There we go. And I think that I might... We'll hit that tier three, and his tier three does look like it hits really hard. I mean, okay, 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 okay. All right, and now Cap, you'll notice. I think I'm canceling that four too early. Let me see if I can get that thing to play out a little bit more. 
Hit that tier three. Remember, there's no obelisk on this guy. All right. Okay. We'll hit that two one. And it is nice that his tier three is in a solid eye frame. That is pretty sweet. I mean, really, actually, he's, uh, I mean, with White Fox, because when I tested this earlier, I didn't do it with White Fox. And that the reason for that is because White Fox is a speed character. I mean, you're not always going to get to use uh, her, right? But with White Fox, that's not a bad time as far as clearing, but I do have Urus on this character, right? I I, I don't know. You know, it's like, I, I feel like, you know, because you're not going to have White Fox in all those combat stages, you know? So it really does make me wonder how strong he's actually going to be, but I'll definitely have to further test and maybe work out a better rotation, right? I'm really just kind of running through my skills since I don't have an obelisk on him, right? So maybe I could be playing him a little bit better, to be fair, to Captain America. But from what I've seen, I think, you know, like, obviously, guys, it's going to be the level 80 crap probably for him. Sorry, buddy, not right now. Uh, it's obviously going to be the level 80 crap for him, you know, taking him up where he can do a lot more damage now let me get into this last topic which is the ctp of rage so evidently they supposedly buffed this thing where now this critical damage actually works with the world boss legends that have high defenses and i'm gonna tell you guys right now no it don't it don't work at all in fact i'll show you that right now it don't work at all it's absolute trash now maybe they buffed it since the last time i tested this but uh You'll see, guys. You'll see. So we're going to go all the way up to stage 93. And I'm going to try to use that damn thing as much as possible. Well, for some reason, we don't have a team here. Let's put our team in here. There we go. Okay. And let's set up a nice little team here. All right. So let's do this. All right. And I'm going to show you guys that this thing isn't worth as crap. It isn't doing anything at all. In fact, the damage that I'm doing is identical to what we did before. It's the same. Nothing has changed about this thing at all. Now, I know some of you guys are like, well, you don't even have a tier four on. Yeah, because the tier four doesn't do anything in this high level. It doesn't do anything, right? It doesn't do anything at all. Now, I'm trying to get that proc. Hey, we hit that tier three. You see the proc there, engaged, right? So the proc on the rage is actually engaged. All right. Now, before when I did this, I, you know, could maybe clear the first phase maybe in two minutes and 30 seconds, right? And that's with using the tier four. We would get a little extra damage uh, from Iron Man, you know, as our tier four, right? It wasn't really because the tier four was doing any damage. It just wasn't. And there we got interrupted, but you know, I mean, that happens. No big deal. Okay. Now the rage proc is going to engage. There it engaged. We got interrupted, which is unfortunate. Pretty damn annoying, actually. That's one thing about Hawks. Like his fifth skill, I just can't stand because it delays so long. There we go. There we go. And boom. There we go, nice. The rage proc was engaged. And as you guys can see, we're doing pitiful damage. This is absolutely terrible. Very, very bad. So, you know, I don't know if the rage is working or not. I don't think it is. Or I just don't think that these buffs are really making a difference for uh, our character. You know, I was really, really hoping that, you know, after they buffed the rage, maybe for War Boss Legend, that this thing would be, you know, getting it done, right? The Rage Fox engaged right now. Look at the damage. Like, it's nothing. It's nothing spectacular, guys. It's nothing spectacular. I mean, look at this, right? And there we got interrupted. You know, I mean, you know, that happens. That happens. Okay, the Rage Fox engaged. And boom, okay, we're gonna go ahead and hit that second skill since the proc engaged there. Oh, not bad, not bad. I love getting interrupted, it's so fun. Now, our run's getting a little botched here, but look at the time, guys. I mean, seriously, 
This is what you did, Net Marvel. This is what you did. Give me a break. I know the run got kind of crappy here, guys, at the end. But the but I finished this like in two minutes and twenty seconds, right? I mean, it, it's just terrible. Like, what's this rage really doing? What's it really doing in World Boss Legend? Here's the rage proc engage. Look at this, guys. Now, granted, that was kind of a bad run. We got interrupted quite a bit. But normally, I would do this, you know, with two minutes and twenty seconds to spare in the first phase. That was before the rage evidently got buffed against World Boss Legend, and it's still trash. This thing is absolute crap. So don't level up. Don't reforce CTPs of Rage because it doesn't look like it's doing anything in World Boss Legend at all. I was doing the same kind of damage numbers before the buff, the supposed buff for the Rage. So Netmarble, hashtag buff the CTP of Rage because it's still shit. And guys, you know, as far as these two characters, you know, we still need to test them a little bit further. Uh, still need to see where their relevance really lies. But I think more than likely, guys, it's going to be PvP for these two characters. I don't really know. But since both of them have counterattacks that are pretty OP counterattacks, I mean, it leads me to believe that it's a good chance that they will be. So guys, let me know what you think about Captain America and Punisher so far. And what about the supposed buff? CTP of Rage, and I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GT plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody.